Let me say how glad I am to have had this opportunity to be invited by President John Pombe Magufuli to have this conversation. I was already in Kenya and I got a phone call to come back and I did. And he is uh, the first president in this continent who has taken the step to invite me at a very short notice to have a long conversation on Africa. I may have met other presidents, but this is unique. Unique in the sense that I've had the opportunity to have a conversation of nearly one hour with President John Pompe Magufuli. And what amazes me is the president's ability to explain in detail many of the things that have happened in the last four years in this fifth administration of the government of the United Republic of Tanzania. We have talked about what has happened in the area of infrastructure, what has happened in the education sector, what has happened in the health sector, what has happened in terms of international relations. And what has come out very clearly and what has impressed me is that the president has the pulse of the nation. He knows what is happening. He is able to state in detail what is happening in Iringa, what is happening in Mwanza, what is happening in Chalinze, what is happening in different sectors. And his appreciation of the fact that going forward, Africa can only realize our potential if her men and women are dedicated to do things that are in the best interest of the society. Some of the statistics that I've got from him, that when he assumed office, there were 20,000 ghost workers, 14,000 workers who did not have qualification. Once you have removed all these individuals from the payroll, that releases money for utilization in sectors that will benefit the society. I've also learned that in Tanzania, public workers now receive their salaries on the 23rd day of every month. And that is amazing. And as I've said, and I'll repeat again, when one is involved in such earth-moving changes, there'll be no shortage of people who will not see the beauty and the goodness of what is being done. But history is a fair judge. He is a judge that is able to identify the things that speak for themselves. So in the administration of President John Pombe Magufuli, what speaks for him, even if he chooses to remain silent, it is the bridges that have been built. They speak for him. It is the health facilities that have been built that speak for him. It is the increased enrollment in primary school and in uh, universities that speak for him. It is the increment of the national reserve that speaks for him. It is the efficiency with which funds are being utilized that speak for him. It is the discipline that now characterizes the conduct of the government of the United Republic of Tanzania that speak for him. It is the railways that are being built that speak for him. It is the improvement in the mining sector that speak for him. These things, when they speak, they speak more eloquently than words. And I am certain that that is the direction in which we should move. And there is something to be said about that administration. Focus, dedication, vision. And that is what Africa needs. That, to me, is the trick that will move Africa from the muck and mire of lamentation to the hard ground of implementation and in the improvement of the quality of people's lives. Because after all is said and done, what is the purpose of government? Purpose of government is to create an environment where people can realize their potential and to provide for them in the critical areas of health, education, and of course, to ensure that there is food and opportunities for young men and women. And I believe that President John Pombe Magufuli is thinking in that direction when he talks about the fourth industrial revolution, when he talks about robotics and internets and the use of technology and transfer of technology for the betterment of the people of Tanzania, I've had a beautiful conversation, I've had an enlightening conversation, and I hope that in their wisdom, 
the people of Tanzania will make a decision that is favorable to give President John Pombe Magufuli for five more years. He has not asked me to be his campaigner. That is my own thought. If I was Tanzania, I would say, Yaribu tena dugurais. What is to magulify? To magulify, which we will not find in the English dictionary, but I hope it will find a place in the next uh, issue of, of, of the dictionary, is to create an environment where resources are used efficiently. To create an environment where leadership is disciplined and to serve one's country with dedication and in the spirit of patriotism. When you say and do that, then you have been magulified.